This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we talk to filmmakers' Christmas list. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes a mystery out of the effects and techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And with Christmas right around the corner, we come to a time once a year, where you could possibly trick your loved ones into buying expensive filmmaking gear for you. So with that in mind, I decided to put a little uh, filmmaker's Christmas list together. Let's do it. To it. So first up, we're gonna talk cameras, which I have four suggestions. A super low budget, a mid budget, a low budget, and one if you have a little bit extra money to spend. On the super low budget side, we have the Samsung W200. This is a $100 pocket camera, but one that has a better quality than some of the others. The picture quality seems to be about the norm, little above average of these type of cameras, but this one shoots 1080 HD video to H.264 compression and is waterproof up to 10 feet. But the thing that I like so much about this one is the fact that you can have a pause button on it. Not that you can have it, it has it. So if you're on a super low budget without access to editing software, you can essentially edit in camera with this. You start recording, hit the pause button, switch to a new angle, unpause, and you're recording again. And this all ends up being just one clip, which is exactly how I made films when I was a kid, since it was all tape and you would start, stop, and edit in camera. Next up is the Canon Vixia HF. M400. This little lady starts at $319 and has very good video quality for its price and a mic input, which is a must. The LCD on the camera is touchscreen and records to SD card. So if you're looking for something below $400, this is a great choice. Next in line is the Canon T3i. This HD DSLR starts at around $670. This one is the upgrade to the Canon T2i, but it's better described as like the 60Ds little sister. It has almost all the functions of the 60D, including the swivel screen. It just has some corner cutting when it comes to the photography side of the camera as compared to the 60D. But if you want it just for video, which I'm assuming you do, it is basically the same as the 60D. And if you want to know more about the quality of these cameras as far as the T2i, T3i, and the 60D, check out this episode since the T2i and the T3i have pretty much the exact same video quality. And now, if you have a decent amount of cash to spare, we have the Canon 5D Mark II, which this is the camera that I use for just about everything. This one starts off at around $2,200 body only, and the 5D is an absolutely fantastic camera. The sort of quality and emotion you can get with this camera at the price range it lives in is just insane. Even feature films and television production uses camera like Shane Holbert's uh, Act of Valor or uh, the TV show House. Again, this one is a bit on the higher side, but if you're looking to get into professional video and photography, this is the way to go. Now on to audio. First, I have two shotgun mics. The first one is on the lower budget end, which is the Audio-Technica AT897. This mic goes for about $235 and is one of the main shotguns that I, I use, which is kind of funny since it's also the cheapest one I own. It has a great signal to noise ratio and is pretty durable. What did I say? Race, ratio? Ratio? Ratio, shall we? I meant ratio for your information. It's a super impressive mic for the price. Next is the Sennheiser ME66 slash K6, which has a price tag of about $500. This one is double the price as the last one and also twice as good. The ME66 is still relatively cheap as compared to some other professional mics, but it's super sensitive and delivers really high end sound. So if you have a rich uncle who loves you, I'd shoot for this bad boy for sure. Now, if you were shooting DSLR or one of the other low budget cameras, you may want to record external audio. For my money, the best device for external audio recording is the H4N Zoom. It has two XLR inputs and records on SD cards. The other thing I love is the ability to connect straight to your computer, which is how I do all my voiceovers, ADR, and Foley. There's a ridiculous amount of things that you can do with this recorder, so definitely look into it for more info. The only downside is the price tag at $300, but again, given what it does and the quality it does it at, it's more than worth the cost. And for my last bit of audio love, we have the Rode Video Mic for $150. This will connect right to your camera of DSLR goodness to give you much better in-camera audio and can be used as a shotgun mic as well uh, by attaching it to a boom pole. So we've covered the cameras and the audio. Now for a quick break and we will talk about editing and compositing software and some filmmaker swagga. <laughs> Oh, 
shut up and do it. What are you doing? Making sure I get what I want for Christmas. Please, God, please. I can't do anything for you. Shut it, fat so. Why don't you send a letter like every other kid? Because this fool snubs me every year. And you were going to do it again this year, weren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Probably because you're a new little brat. What's that? Mm -hmm. I don't know, nothing. So what's it gonna be, fat man? You gonna give me what I want? I can't do it! I'm not okay, that. I know where you live. How about I go up to the North Pole and ask some of your elves? Or maybe I'll pay a visit to Mrs. Claus. How about that? See, that right there is why you don't get any presents. I'll show up and be all like, da 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 Or maybe I'll show up and be like, <sighs> You want that on your conscience? Huh? Do you? Want the Mary She's not gonna save ya! What is it you're trying to get from me? I'm starting a campaign to make glitter illegal, so I want the URL, IHateGlitter.com, but it was taken, so I want this bowl of full of jelly to get it for me. Please let me go! I won't tell. I'll kill you! Wait, why do you hate glitter? Are you kidding? You ever get around those annoying chicks who think glitter's cute? They get it everywhere, it's worse than dog hair. Like a Twilight vampire. Exactly, and it's the worst at Christmas. Last chance! I can't! Why don't you just use domain.com? Stop tripping. Seriously. If you use our domain discovery system, it will give you alternative names, the one that you wanted, if the original is taken. Really? Mm hmm And if somebody already has one you want, domain.com can help you find one that works for you. Epic. You can get a .com or .com. Save a character. And if you already have a domain and you want to transfer, it's only $7.61, and you get it here free. That sounds great. You should do that. I'll blow your rosy cheeks all over the walls, fat man. Ah! And if you use the promo code FilmRat, you'll get 15% off your order. Not bad at all. I don't even need this pile of jolly obesity. Nope. And how'd you get him here anyways? I hijacked his sleigh. What? Okay, fine. I carjacked him outside the mall. The mall? Yeah, death. Emily, mall Santas aren't the real Santa. I thought he was lying. No go. When it comes to editing, there are a crap load of options that you can go after, but in my opinion, there are the best in each price range, of course. And at the low end, we have for $300, Final Cut 10. Now I know I've bashed this in the past, and I stand by everything I said, but as I've also said before, if you are just starting out, or on a super low budget, this software is perfect. For you. It has great features to get you going and it's it's just missing a ton of professional end stuff. So if you want to do pro stuff, stay away from it. But if you're brand new starting out and this, this price range looks yummy to you, I say go for it. Moving up the ladder of yumminess, we find Adobe Premiere CS 5.5 and is the editing software I have made the switch to. I've also talked at length about Premiere and why I made the switch in these episodes, so definitely check that out. On to compositing and visual effects, shan't we? For compositing, there are really only two bits of software that I would recommend that aren't a ridiculous amount of money, and that would be HitFilm Ultimate, which goes for $400 and is a really great piece of software that is far more professional than you'd think with such a cheap price tag. Check it out on their website and see all the really cool features it has, including built-in muzzle flash technology. Now, on the higher end, of course, we have my favorite program, After Effects. This one got a heavier price tag of about $1,000, and I would now go into the software and explain it all to you, but if you watch the show, you should know pretty much everything about it. So bam, bam a jam. Now you had to know I wasn't gonna end this episode without talking about some delicious filmmaker attire. You gotta look good whilst you film, don't you? Am I right? Am I? I'm right. Most of you already know that I started an apparel side of Triune and we started making shirts and now hoodies for filmmakers. So if you wanna kit yourself out with some sexy filmmaking clothing to wrap your naked body in, go here and order some. We currently have our first hoodie in pre-order, which is $2 cheaper. When you pre-order it, once it comes out, it'll be $2 more expensive than it is currently. And I think pre-orders end on December 9th, which should be tomorrow when this episode goes up. So jump over and do that if you want to order one. Also, we have a specific Film Right and Film State store for more apparel. Check it out there. We got a discount going as well for the holidays. So get some filmmaking swag on. Yo, filmmaking swag on. Logo. And that ends my list of Christmas for the makers of film. I hope this helps you figure out what you want to whisper in the ear of the half-drunk guy in the $30 Santa suit at the mall. But we shall now depart. But until next time, hit me up on Twitter like a gangster, blah, blah. And crack that Facebook like a whip, yo. And I shall see you next time when I ride a missile to the ground like a Bronco.